Hi again, another book on the martial arts and this time the book concerns a very very specific and specialised area of martial arts training and it's this book, The Art of Hojo Undo, Power Training for Traditional Karate by Michael Clark and really it's about um, the methods used in the Okinawan systems to develop strength and power and um, they are very specific to improving the techniques that we use. Michael Clark, originally from the UK, um, now resident in Australia and he's written a few books. When he was researching this he actually contacted me um, regarding uh, the training and also uh, if I could supply him with some of the photographs I'd taken in Okinawa uh, which I did and uh, they're in the book. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very detailed, uh, it goes into the history uh, of the um, types of equipment, the specific um, uh, where they came from, some of them are of Chinese influence and so on. Um, I won't go over the whole range but uh, I'll talk about a couple and first of all uh, the Chi Shi and this is um, a strength stone which is analogous to kettlebells in a way uh, is that it gives you um, continuous force and the length of the shaft of, of the chishi provides leverage which gives you an increase in force over the actual weight of the stone involved. Now we, we made a whole load of these um, using uh, cans filled with concrete and we used to use them in training and uh, they, they are very very useful and in fact we actually resurrected them um, in the combatives. Um, one, one of the chaps as part of his instructor um, project, Mark, he um, gave a, a presentation on the Chishi and it's, it's still a very, very relevant piece of training equipment because it provides um, power in circular motions so you get a whole range of action. Uh, the, the other one I'd say is the striking uh, methods, particularly the Makiwara uh, and there's a whole section on this including this Makiwara here which uh, they used using a tyre and you can put it on a, any kind of sturdy wall and, and you can do it if you haven't got a place where you can dig a Makiwara post into the ground. Now when I was at um, Yoyogi we, we used to do a lot of Makiwara training and Higawana Sensei actually brought the Makiwaras to Tokyo from uh, Okinawa. He reckoned the wood uh, was special and you couldn't get it in Tokyo. And um, I remember one day in, in the first couple of weeks I was there, um, one of the young university guys was striking the Makiwara and it was really impressive. Um, I was working alongside him and I realised that I needed to up my game so I really concentrated on the Makiwara to a great extent. Uh, I used to do things like back fist strikes on it and elbow strikes all sorts of things and really I got to the point where um, I, I was fairly satisfied with the uh, strikes I was delivering. Uh, a, a lot of instructors um, didn't really regard the Makiwara as useful. I remember when I came back to the UK and uh, I was invited to go and meet an a instructor from a different system. Um, I was chatting to him and he uh, remarked about my knuckles at the big uh, Makiwara knuckles and he said uh, not necessary and so on and so on. Just his, his opinion. Um, I don't know how effective Makawara training is to uh, street effectiveness but it certainly was a, 
a very good mental training exercise. Made you hard mentally. Uh, <coughs> while we were in Okinawa, we visited another dojo, um, Nagamini Sensei's dojo, Shorin Ryo. And a couple of the guys there, they had the, the four-way split, circular makiwara, and they were hitting that. Impressive, very powerful strikes. Very, very powerful. So you did see some really good, good stuff. Um, in Japan, most of the Japanese styles had kind of ignored the Hojo Undo. Um, but I get the, uh, the impression that more recently, uh, ways of developing power and strength have come back into karate. I was on a forum a couple of years ago and the guys were very much into the modern conditioning methods, kettlebells, um, weight training, uh, resistance bands and all sorts of things and of course the Hojo Undo would fit very very well in with that. So um, very very good book it's probably the, the only real book devoted entirely to this. Um, he's also given you ways of making the equipment yourself because it can be hard to get hold of and uh, also the, the drills for training with them. All, all in all a really good martial arts text.